I have a question, but I have found the answer. Are you like me and you have a 1964 whatever that has no cab light whatsoever? So in the middle of the night, you're rummaging around in pure darkness with your cell phone light possibly. Well, I'm gonna change that right now because I've got some parts right here from autocrafters.com and I got a part from your local parts store here, Switch. And I'm going to try to take this switch right here, take it apart and use that knob and try to integrate it onto this. And then run this spool of wire right here. As you guys can see in this picture, I don't really have have a place to mount it it has no headliner maybe someday i will but right now it doesn't so i gotta find ground and all that stuff i'm gonna make this work because i'd like to have a light whenever i need it because i take this truck on long trips as you guys know if you guys follow four to four hundred world on facebook uh, we go to quite a few shows and we love to take our resto mod budget resto mod by farm truck racing to all of the shows so let's get into it <laughs> Hey guys, this is what I ended up doing here. So this is a new housing from Auto Crafters. I used an old Auto Crafters cover. We're gonna ground off of it to right there. It's a little clip up here, so it's possible that, uh, yeah, that this maybe used to have a light back before it was turned into a resto mod. Then I ran the wire all the way down here, all the way down here underneath the mat. And it under the mat, the wire right there, ran it all the way up. If you're asking why am I just not running it off the headlights, well, this is out of a 2002 F-150 or a 2005 Mercury Grand Marquis. Either way, I don't know if I really want to mess with that, so I'm just going to go ahead and add one right here. It was a useless air vent thing anyway, because they shut them, he closed them off, the guy who built this. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just not mess with that and just do this. Oh, of course, it's from China. China. Okay, so this wouldn't work right here. Um, I could make it work, but it'd be a lot of work to make it work. So I decided that I thought, look at this little sucker, right? Already kind of threaded, kind of interesting. So what did I do? I went to Autocrafters. Autocrafters saved the day again. And I got these, which are basically replacements for that. So let's see if I can get this to work on that. What is going on? This is for a different video. What's going on guys? Have you hit that subscribe button or the follow button yet? Please do so as it tells the algorithm that you guys like our content and it makes it happy so that we can continue to promote parts as well as trucks and other classics to the world. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. Subscribe, hit that follow button. If you guys want to find out what this is, uh, like, follow, subscribe, do all that jazz. Let's see if I can make it work. This one looks like it comes with a screw, but it looks like once you screw it in, it, that's how it's threaded. So I'm gonna go see if I can find this thread and thread this sucker. Well, what is good about threading plastic is, I just simply found a screw that is the same thread as this, that threaded into this one very nicely. And then with some muscle, I just threaded this little knob. There you have it. Also, this is how I cut the threaded part off of the bezel and made it flat to make it work. Bam! And it's done. Alrighty guys, you can find these parts at autocrafters.com. Thanks for watching.